So this, this painting didn't start out with a black canvas. It actually started out with a completely white canvas. And on the, on the canvas, I painted the, um, the sun, moon, and the stars. And the whole painting was actually painted in front of an audience originally. And in the front row, there was a bunch of kids. And it reminded me of my childhood. Uh, when my mom would tell me uh, the accounts of creation, it's not hard to believe that God created the world. I had this, this beautiful white canvas with the sun, moon, and the stars already painted on it. And then I've got this giant brush in my hand and it's got black on it. And I go ahead and I just destroy this beautiful painting that I just created. And there was an audible gasp from, from the kids. They, they, there was a visceral reaction, reaction that I was going. So I painted words like death, loneliness, suffering, sorrow, pride, cancer, sickness. And all these things affect our world in a, in a negative way. Um, they're what the Bible calls sin. After the canvas was painted completely black, um, I cleaned my brush, loaded it up with some red paint. And then the red paint was, I started at the top of the black canvas and painted all the way down and it represented what happened on Easter when Jesus rose from the dead and what he did um, on that Easter weekend is so important. He um, bridged the gap between the, a holy God and uh, broken people and this line here represents us staying connected to the cross, to Jesus, because that is where hope is found. If Easter is uh, uh, um, something that's just kind of been something that you don't give a lot of thought to, I would encourage you to give it a little extra thought this year and find out Find a, find a church near you, find, find a Bible, open it up, read what happened in um, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Um, read for yourself, dig for yourself. Uh, I, at five years old, believed my mom. I knew, and I believed the preacher on the TV, and I knew that I was a broken individual and needed help. And that's where faith came in but it, it didn't stop there, it grows, and uh, my world was shaken when I went to university and got all these messages of evolution. I was confused, I had to dig deeper. Um, I've since resolved those questions in my mind. It's, it's easy, it's an easy step of faith um, to believe that God created the world, and um, my encouragement to you would be to dig deeper and find out um, Find out what the Bible has to say. Find a church. I'm a painter, not a preacher.